On the other hand, let me tell you, uh, Mr. President, Your Honor, uh, the reason bakit hindi to mapahinto pa ulit ulit na lang, you said, and I agree with you totally, through the years, it happens uh, again and again and again. And the, the, the thing here that I saw, the, the main problem is doon po sa recruitment. Kasi it starts with the recruitment process. Dapat nasasara talaga yung mga hindi karapat dapat mag-training at yung mga polis na dapat hindi na maisalang at maging patrolman pa or starts from the bottom, maging uh, kabo. Why? Because marami dito, marami sa mga kapulisa natin ang may topak. Sorry for the word. May sira sa ulo. Pero nakakalusot dahil malakas nirekomenda ng mga Poncio Pilato. So, nakakalusot sila. Na dapat, doon pa lamang sa screening process, nasara na sila. Uh, meron nga tayong tinatawag na uh, neuropsychiatric exam. Pero, eto nga po, Mr. President, I remember many years ago, yung isa pong colonel sa Camp Krame, siya po yung nagkakandak ng neuropsychiatric exam sa mga gustong mag-training sa pagka-PNP. Siya mismo ay saksaka ng abusado at inireklamo po sa aking programa. Kung yung mismo uh, nagsasagawa ng neuropsychiatric exam para sa mga gustong mag-training sa pagka ang mismo may topak sa ulo, then nakikita niyo na po yung maging problema. At ito pa po masakit. Uh, nung panahon po ni PRD, ni President uh, Rodrigo Duterte, dinoble ang sweldo ng mga polis natin. So, inakala po natin lahat kapag nadoble na ang kanilang sweldo, gaganda na ang kanilang serbisyo, pero lalong lumala. Saan po yung problema rito? Again, hindi po nasara yung pagpasok na mga polis na kung saan-saan lamang nanggaling at uh, pagdating sa training, sila ay tinulak lamang na maging polis ng kanilang mga padrino at hanggang sa makapasok sila maging PNP. So, it is time na dapat yung mga polis natin is quality, not quantity. So again, Mr. President, akin pong tututukan ito Thank to you. make sure ito mga ginagawang pang-abuso nating kapulisan, masisilip ko at maparusahan ang dapat maparusahan. Binigay ang isang staff ko, 6,000 police killings in general. Wow. Between 2016 to 2021. Pero This is in general. Hindi dito kasama yung killings dahil sa mistaken identity, killings dahil sa pang-abuso, killings dahil sa salvage. So ito ay general lamang. So yung tinatawang niyo po ata is yung specific to police brutality. Ito po, general. Ang sinasuggest ko rin, on a yearly basis, kailangan... Uh, sumailalim yung ating mga polis sa tinatawag na neuropsychiatric exam at random drug test. Kasi nga, ang nangyari ngayon, minsan lang sila neuropsychiatric exam and then after that, go na sila, libre na sila. Kasi pwedeng pumasa sila nung, nung, uh, nung time ng kanilang recruitment, pero after a year or two, nagbago yung kanilang situation because of anxiety, stress sa trabaho, pagod. So, doon na pumasok yung pagkakaroon nilang topak sa ulo. So, kapag uh, regular ang kanilang uh, under, pag-undergo ng neuropsychiatric exam, mahuhuli po yun, masasara sila. So, pwede silang muna papahingayin at magamot. Thank Mr. you, Mr. President. Yes, uh, Senator Escudero, sir. May I make a brief manifestation so as not to belabor the point given that Senator Villar will be sponsoring. I just want to take advantage of my rare presence in plenary. <laughs> Mr. President, I, sub I, on record, Mr. President. I subscribe completely to the statements and the speech of um, Senator Tulfo, and I join him in his um, desire for justice for the victim and in calling out not only the policemen involved but the entire Philippine National Police. What struck me, Mr. President, was the statement made by the good gentleman with respect to Magabaro Kase at pinoprotektahan nila ang mga sarili nila. Mr. President, more than the neuro, I think the leadership of the PNP, the DILG, and even the DOJ should set the tone in so far as making these police officers accountable, if only to make them as examples, that the basic rules on engagement as it applies to civilians also applies to members of the Philippine National Police. They can only shoot and fire upon and even kill someone in self-defense only. 
Hindi porkit kriminal nagnakaw may pinatay may ginahasa nakita mo naglalakad palayo kahit gaano kalala yung kriminyang ginawa e eh, pwede mo nang barilin at patayin kung wala namang panganib sa buhay mo mismo nung tinatangka mong hulihin o habulin siya. Sa kasong ito, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, ginong Pangulo, nasa laot yung binaril nila. Wala namang hawak na armas. Malayo sa kanila. At ni walang panganib sa buhay nila. Makatakas na ako makakatakas, pero hindi sila pinapayagan ng batas. Naputokan, lalo na barilin at patayin. The rules of engagement are quite clear. And I do not understand why Philippine National Police members, whatever rank, whenever they entered, whether they passed the new rule or not, cannot understand that and put that in their thick heads. They should try to arrest, but if he escapes and runs, hindi niya pwedeng putokan kahit sa pa para madapa at mahuli niya. Because still, there was no threat to his life that he needed to defend himself. The reason, Mr. President, why we gave our law enforcement, gu enforcement personnel guns was not to shoot anyone who they think is guilty of a crime. Only a judge can decide that. The, the purpose and reason why they have guns is to protect themselves and to protect the civilian population from violent criminals. It is not a license to shoot anyone that they think is either guilty, even if he's actually guilty of having committed a crime. During the budget deliberations, I will join the distinguished um, gentleman in asking accountability from the PNP, not only the PNP, also the DLG, also the DOJ, especially in so far as the kind and nature of the offense or crime they will be filing against these police officers. It cannot be merely, merely abandonment of a victim, for sure, Mr. President, Your Honor. It cannot be merely violation of PNP standard operating procedures and protocols. This is either homicide or murder. And nothing prevents the prosecutor evaluating this case in preliminary investigation from filing a case for murder because it can always be lowered to homicide. But filing a case for homicide can never be elevated to murder. Filing a case, Mr. President, for a similar act of, of, of abandoning a victim cannot be elevated to murder anymore. A safer recourse on the part of the DOJ would be to file the higher offense because anyway, the policeman can be convicted of a lower offense should the evidence point to the lower offense. I submit, Mr. President, and I thank the gentleman for the time he allocated to me. Thank you for your manifestation, Your Honor, Mr. President. Thank, thank you. you. Senator Rison Tavares is also yes, Mr. President. raising her hands.